Hi, best friends. Welcome back. Another week, another video. And it's my birthday today. Yay me. I was thinking today about personalities that I don't mesh well with or that I maybe I just don't get. That's not to say I have this amazing personality. I mean, I do. But I think I just don't get along that well with certain people. And maybe it's about who I am or it's about who they are, but just don't get along. The first thing to explain is that I'm extremely judgmental and I fully own that. I actually like that about me. I mean, that's a topic for another video, but when it comes to certain personalities, I just can't mix. And I think it's because I am so judgmental. I'm not one of those people that judges someone and then they're that way forever. I have certainly met people in my life that I judged incorrectly and I later went on to become friends with. Judge me all you want, hate me, you know, lots of people can't stand me. I'm a shrill harpy woman. I get it. That, that doesn't bug me. That doesn't get to me. The personality I want to talk about today, and can I say personality any more times, is hard to define. I honestly don't know how to explain this. I'm going to try and describe the personality using its traits, and I don't really have a name for it which makes this a little more difficult. I have a very specific kind of person in mind that I'm going to go fully in on. If I'm describing you, I'm sorry in advance. So some of the hallmarks of this personality as in like cornerstones of it are constantly letting everyone know how dark and mysterious you are. Nobody understands you. You see a different world than them. They couldn't possibly cut to your core. Yeah, the name's Shadow Blade. That's what people call me because I tell them to call me that. I'm pretty dark. That's hard. I mean, I'm just really, I'm really quiet and introspective. Being really edgy, but like faux edgy, like wearing a lot of black or sharpieing your nails so they're black, just like your soul. Oh my God. You don't want to spend time in this old mind. You'd be scared of what you found. These kinds of people, dark, mysterious. First of all, they're not mysterious. Like you can see all the way through them at all times and they're not dark. They're very pedestrian. I don't know, it's so hard to describe because I'm picturing at least like six people in my life that I've met that are like this. And I always felt this secondhand embarrassment for them or not embarrassment. I think that's a little strong. This sort of feeling of, oh honey, like you really think that people are intrigued by the mystery that is you. They're drawn in by what's, what's he thinking? What's, what's in his brain? What's in his head? No one can understand him. Who knows what I'm thinking? What's going on in here? Get away from me. These dark, mysterious guys, and it is mostly guys, like, I will fully cop to and admit that most of this affliction, personality, whatever you'd call it, only really shows itself at least strongly in men. It to me is like basic white girl pumpkin spice latte of being edgy. I like knives. That's right, that totally insane hobby, collecting knives. And sometimes I'll like, I'll open the blade and be like, ooh, and do like a I do like my tongue on the blade, like, uh, like, oh yeah, it's, ooh, you know, oh God, you better stay away. Really having to project and announce and perform the act of being dark and mysterious. I don't even care if you think I'm crazy. They'll constantly talk about how their interests are very weird and eclectic and unusual. And usually it's like, I listen to metal music. Ooh, wow, never heard of that before. Oh my, wow. <laughs> I'm into things like metal, ever heard of it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You better stay away. Everyone run. What's he thinking? Constantly tells you, I don't even care what people think of me, which is such a crock of shit to me because it's like everyone cares what people think of them, everyone. And I, that's another video for another day. But like this whole, I don't care what people think of me. You do. And usually when someone says that, that kind of signals to me that that is a person that probably cares more than other people, what people think of them, which is why they've like put on such a strong persona. I have a pentagram in my room. <laughs> 
so that it seems like nothing can get to them when in reality everything gets to them. Whenever they play games or have to like name a character, let's say they like join a D&D group, the names will include one of the following, shadow, heart, blade, or dark. And then maybe another word, but a lot of times they just mix those words where you get names like shadow heart, dark blade, black blade, dark knight blade, shadow heart, blade knight. Me and my best friend, blade heart, dark blade. Yeah, we go down. We go down and we just sit. <laughs> you get the idea. And so all their usernames kind of have this really generic, basic sort of like, ooh, wow, you're into dark stuff. Ooh, the inner machinations of your mind are an enigma. <laughs> I'm gonna get a, a tattoo of a wolf howling at the moon. I share a lot of pictures of wolves and nighttime scenes and spooky forests. Things that normal people wouldn't understand. I mean, I'm all right not being one of the sheep. <laughs> I don't know, usually all these traits are a cover for being incredibly bland. Like, I mean, like any self-defense mechanism, like I'm sarcastic and mean, I get it. It's supposed to draw people in with this attitude of like, I don't even care, I just, I'm always deep in thought. I find it a little funny, a little goofy, you know? Sue me. Cut to me being sued. In the famous case of Jacob versus Shadow Blade. I guess at the end of the day, my main criticism is this kind of personality type, this guy I'm describing to you, that maybe you are like, I know someone like that. They're usually incredibly one-dimensional people. It feels like they're emulating something, like a movie or a TV show character or a book character or a comic character. I spend a lot of time sitting in corners, rooms. Like at least with those hyper jock, hyper nerd personalities, you kind of get it, but with this like, hyper dark, mysterious personality. It feels like the point is that like, I'm rejecting society. I'm not like all you sheep, but it's just like that. It's just an emulation of a thing that you think seems cool. I, this isn't like, I'm not pretending. This is just who I am. People, you just don't even get me. What, I mean, how could you? There's so many layers. It's like, What's he even thinking? I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one that feels this way. Now that I'm done being a judgmental monster, it's time to go. I know, I know we had some fun this week. I was mean and people seem to love that. It's weird, I'll make like a video about like something personal about me and people are like, okay, good work, pat on the back. And then I'm mean for five seconds and people are like, ooh, What's this? I guess I get that. It's just, I was hoping not to be, oh, do you watch Jacob? He's mean to people online. I mean, I mean to people in real life, so I guess this is all very on brand for me. You're welcome. Anyways, like and subscribe, comment any other personalities you want me to talk about. I have thoughts on, you know, quirky girls, macho guys. I, I got them all up in here. I can even talk about myself and my weird personality quirks. I'll do anything for you. You know that, you've always known that. Okay, bye. I am the knight. <laughs> if you didn't hate me before, you'll hate me now. <laughs> I hate myself for doing this. I've never felt more beautiful. The question is, is this an upside down cross or a lowercase t? Subscribe. <laughs>